Hey everybody, I'm going to finally do a quick review on this knife here. This knife is on loan from you know who. Thank you very much. I promise you I'm getting these back this week. Have Can you email me? You know you. Email me at jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com. I just got to talk to you real quick about something. I promise I'm sending them back, but I need to talk to you. So if you get this, if you watch this, hey, what's that? Email me, please. All right. I see y'all eyeballing this. You know, I've had some questions about firepower here at the Jimmy Slash household. I don't want y'all to worry about me because I'm packing heat, obviously. All right. So anyways, this is the Cold Steel Burden Game. There you go. And this is a really cool little neck knife jobber thing. Got three inches. Let's check this out. Get on into this. It's got about three inches of cutting edge there. A little bit over uh, three and a quarter inches of overall edge. Maybe a little bit more. Three and three eighths. Does that sound right? And I think the one problem I'm going to have with this, I'm just going to get out in the open, is the handle. It seems like it's just a bit too short for me to use this as a neck knife. I need right about there. If that handle ended there, instead of there, if I had about a half an inch more, but that's just because I have chunky fingers. If you have normal, non-giant, bloated fingers, this thing will fit you nicely. Overall, though, this is a really cool knife. This is what I wanted the, this, what is that, the Super Edge? No, the Secret Agent, Double Agent. Secret Edge and Double Agent, the Double Agent to be like. I don't want that forward finger hold here, or if I had the forward finger hold, I don't want the rear finger hold. I don't need two finger holds. This one is a good size. It's got a good size. You can get your finger in and out of there pretty easily, so that's not an issue. Like I said, if you have normal size fingers that aren't too wide like mine are, this will fit you nicely. The blade came sharp. This Japanese Aus 8A steel, so that's not, not horrible. It should sharpen up nicely for you. It's really useful. It's totally light. This thing is... Let me show you. I think they said it's under two ounces. Let me check that out real quick. Yeah, 1.66 ounces. So it's really light, super useful. Good for hanging around your neck. Got some good holes up here. I mean, even if you stuck this thing in your pocket just like this and pulled it out whenever you needed it. It comes out nicely. It feels real sturdy. It, it, it's it's light, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on you. This isn't this doesn't feel like the uh, the kudu. You know the kudu. You grab that thing, and and it's not gonna break. The kudu's not gonna break on you. It just feels a little bit flimsy. This one just feels light. It doesn't feel flimsy. If that makes sense. So like I said, the ring feels good. A little Grivix handle here. That feels. Pretty good. I mean, because you got such a good grip and a secure grip on this thing. And this is really important. This jimping up here actually make you know makes this thing more useful. Because it gives your thumb a place to place to sit and get some traction there. So overall, not a bad knife. And even though I'm having some issues with the size of the handle, I would still not have a problem carrying this. It's just that's just a small preference thing. That's not horribly uncomfortable or anything like that. So just a quick review of this knife, and I really appreciate you letting me borrow this, as well as the Delica and the AK-47. I, I mean, I really want to buy this knife. If it was just a little bit longer, I would. I would already have this knife if this was just a tad bit longer, but since I already have some cool options at neck, at necker, I will keep it where somebody else can buy it and enjoy it. Or I might just buy one for the pay it forward sometime. But that's for right now. I'm going to hold off. Only, only because of this. Only because, let's see, let me measure that. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, only because I got four inches across of, in diameter of finger chunkiness there. So it's just a little bit. 
I mean, it's not, not horrible, it's just not good enough to where I would give up what I'm carrying, which is that Secret Edge or that Microtech Necker I have with the Crambit Hawkbill thing, you know what I'm talking about? That one. So once again, there you go, Cold Steel Burden Game. Like here, subscribe here, let me know what you think down there. Is this something you'd carry? Is this something you'd like to see or like to play with? Or when would you carry it? Is this something you carry out in the woods or something like that? I guess that's it for now. Don't forget, Jimmy Slash is packing, and I'll talk to y'all later.